now. I was thinking you blast the shotgun a whole bunch. Just do a mag dump on it. <laughs> You're better at that one. But still. Action! Action! <laughs> oh, it jammed. You said it never jammed. I know what it did. It just. Oh, I just didn't cycle. Sort of a jam. Oh, I already had one loaded up. I forgot. <laughs> oh. That's hilarious. That was a brand new, yeah. <laughs> full, full green tip. Whoops. Look, That's look at this. Look at this. Film this. Look at this. Look at all these fucking bugs. Okay, so the oxygen, you open it up all the way, and then second lane, quarter turn, and the level. It seems as though as I have beat him here. I win this time, buddy. He's here. So what did you bring today? This? Yeah. Your, this is your 308. I knew that just by looking at it. What's this one? The 22. Ooh, the 22. Oh, and you brought the extra mags or you forgot the mags again this time? I did a smart. Ooh. I one. Ooh, didn't forget them. What about over here? This one I believe will be the other tree. Or no, it will be the real tree. Ooh. This is that one that you were yeah. showing me. Very nice. One that's as old as your mouse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. And then here's your semi-auto. Yeah. All I brought today was my 22. It's a little bit different than yours, but... And I also brought my 5.56. Five, Let me just put this. And... My new 12 gauge. <laughs> Wouldn't that be hilarious though? Just for real. Just be like, Chaw! <laughs> Look at this stupid thing. Here, let's try it. Here, hold that. What do you think of that stupid thing? Don't be too rough with it because, well, yeah, that's about as rough as you want. Weird, right? Pull that uh, action bag. Well, you have to hold this down though. No. Oh, this one's a funny one. Yeah, all the way back. And just let it go. Right? <laughs> Making targets.
Yeah, so that one's for the 22, because it's a lot closer. We don't want to act like we know what we're doing, because then people will expect us to know what we're doing. <laughs> we don't know what we're doing. I forgot my safety, so I'm Sir Douchebag this video. I mean, like, look at this. is such a nice day out. Like, look at this. So nice. Okay, I'm just going to cover the back. I was actually going to say we should start off with the 22. I don't really feel like putting on my earring, hearing protection. I should, but I'm not going to give it a shot. See if you can't hit that orange piece right there. Yep. Nice. Tactical reload! Uh oh. Tactical dead jam. Dead shell. Tactical jam? Uh, it's a semi auto magazine. <laughs> I heard when it go. <laughs> <laughs> I expect these to group really good, but I can't wait to see how those group. <laughs> Neither do I. Um. Okay, so we brought a bunch of guns out of different calibers. So I kind of want to do what the other YouTubers do and work our way up. We just started with a couple of twenty two, so I'm gonna show off that uh stupid shotgun, that Wolverine XP. <laughs> As a matter of fact, it's this thing. <laughs> so. I have a couple of shotgun shells for it that I brought. I just wanted to show you two different ways to load this up because it's stupid. <laughs> it, it's real dumb. I had to have it. Okay, so this is the regular way. You could just take the one, right? Or two if you wanted to. Just, you know, line them up. Oh, dude, that's like... If I were to get good with this one, this is smoother than my uh, pistol grip one. Hmm. This Good, is to real smooth. Good to know. Good to know. If I really wanted to. Okay, you see how I got them right there? Like that? Loaded. <laughs> Hot, ready to go. I'm probably going to miss it. that time you want to see how this one feels sure i think there's just one left in there but yeah feel that assisted pump yeah you gotta pump it Ooh. it's just one motion it, it's just one motion you know like that like a ch -ch -ch, but right it's strange that's weird it's a weird feeling but like when you keep your hand on it you just pull it back and basically let go of your strength and it pulls your hand forward Neat, huh? Um, up top, at the rear sight, is how you bust it in half. Check that out. Yeah, pull that. See? Now, uh, here, I just wanted to... Because there is an extra one here. Load that into the tube. How's that feel? Stupid? Very weird. Very weird. Strange gun, right? Very strange. It's got a thump to it. It's strange. I like it. It's definitely... All my guns are my favorite. I love all of my guns. This <laughs> one is just different. It's different. It's different. And it's shorty. Alright, so we brought we brought many different kinds of calibers. I kind of just want to show off a couple of the different ones that uh, we're doing today. Okay, cool. That works. That works. <laughs> I was looking for a wave, but that works. So, this is the 22s that we shot. Earlier, this is that 12 gauge. This one, well, I mean, you can't really count it because, I mean, well, look at this guy. It's just different. This is a 223. This is 556. Five, Holy moly. What is this guy? 303 Brit. This is 303 British. This guy, and these both of these are 308. Yeah. One's a 150, one's a 175. Okay. So we're just basically checking out to differences between fields of calibers because we're noobs. This guy. 
Ignore the color. <laughs> Just ignore it. It doesn't mean anything. Ah, you may have seen one there. Freaking bugs. There's so many bugs out. I can't even... So many bugs, bud. One. I just want to get a couple in there. Okay, so I do want to see how the optic is or the new sights, but I do really, really, really want to see the difference between the feeling of 223 Remington and 556. Five, so I'm going to do 556 five, second and 223 two, first. If I can get that to go in first. There we go. We should probably get our hearing protection. Yep. Okay, so I just cleaned it and everything. Should, so it should be good. Should cycle well. It should cycle well. I'm excited. I haven't taken this gun out in a long time. Ready. Okay, so I don't know where I'm actually shooting. I'm just going to shoot at the board right in front of me. I just want to see if I can feel Put it. Put them on the middle target. For the, go for the middle target? Okay. I just wanted to feel the difference, though. That's okay. I'll go for the middle target. Five five six is where it's at, dude. That feels like a controlled. It felt like he was pulling it forward. If anything, that was nice. You gotta try that. <laughs> ooh, I missed it, but ooh. Let's say that's two two three. Which one's two two three? Yeah, yeah, that's two. Yeah, that's for sure two two three. Or that wouldn't be five five six, would it? I don't know. It deformed it. Yeah, because there's a little gouge in it. Just a small gouge. It's hard to see. But yeah, the 22 is barely even scuffed it. Just took the paint off. So first, you're going to start with the 223 and then the 556. Nice. Give it a little love tap. There you go. That's 223. It's, 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 it's subtle, subtle but it's, noticeable. it's very subtle, but it's so noticeable. It's nice. It's a nice difference. So nice. Yeah, it is. The pissing match. What do you mean? Whose, whose calibers do more to the steel? <laughs> <laughs> Who does more to the steel? Okay. Uh, I mean, <laughs> 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 let's, let, let's uh, huck some 303 British at it and see what it does. Hit that further uh, orange one there. <laughs> no guarantee I'm going to hit it for the first one. Sighted in far. Okay. Basically ready. You gonna whack that far target or Oh killed it. <laughs> Wrecked them. Let's go see the damage. So basically what we're comparing right now is the difference between damage of these guys. The three oh three British and a five five six NATO. All right, let's see. Oh, you just hit it up top. So where were you aiming when you shot at it? Oh, just aim a little bit lower then. Let's see the gouge though. I don't think it really gouged it. Ah, uh, we need to give it a better chance. I mean, shoot it again, maybe hit it more center mass, see what it does. Cool. Okay. So, see if I can't hit that far one, I guess. Yep. I'm a, more of a left-handed sniper, so... <laughs> Got him! <laughs> uh, Wait, is it still going? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm just... Ping! Like, freaking, look at this. Look at this. <laughs> Freaking bug, get off of me. It was a little more centered. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Oh, dang, I thumped it. <laughs> yeah, that just barely even a little dent, if that. Yeah, yours also have a little specialty core inside them. Yeah, mine, de mine does have a specialty <laughs> core inside of it. That's, that's why they're green. Shh. Nobody knows why they're green. That doesn't mean anything. Don't look it up. All right, so what is this guy? This is the 308? Yeah, the bolt gun. Ooh. The one with the bipod so we can be more precise. Oh, what?
Knocked it over. I'll shoot the closer one just because. You got another shot ready? This one? That's 308 or 303. This Wrong is 303. We don't want the. That box. Yeah, let's do it again. Do it again. Do it again. This is how winners win things. Ah! Dead. <laughs> One in particular. I kind of feel sorry for them. <laughs> yeah, I kind of feel bad for those things. Maybe we should move them a little bit further back. That's they're only like 40, 50 feet away. <laughs> <laughs> Those things are sighted in for like 150 feet. 150 yards. 150 yards. Never mind. Oh yeah, that one got a wallop. Oh, dude, you almost shot it through the bullseye. Yeah, it actually chipped. It. Yeah, that's because it. Yeah, oh, well, you did chip it. Got him. Got him. Uh, I think I. No, you, you did a pretty good hit. Basically center. So there's the difference between. Here's 303, 308. Match bullet to boot. Basically. <laughs> look at the fucking splash. Oh, dude, yeah, look, look. Okay, so from the splash, bullets are hitting here, and it's, they're blowing up, right? Because it's hitting such a hard metal. Look at this line right here. That's why you don't want to be next to it when it's blowing up. <laughs> That's why you basically need stuff like Kevlar or other things to catch the fragments. Because if, let's say, hypothetically, you had this on your chest, that metal, and it blows up, the that's what gets you. Okay. Well, should we try with the fast moving now? We should try it with the fast moving. But you were <laughs> saying earlier that's what spalling's for? Yeah. Well, it's called lead spalling, and that's when the bullet explodes. That's what anti spalling is for. And you want to be anti. Uh, uh, you, you want to be an anti spaller. We'll use the fast one. All right, the fast one. The fast one is the good one. <laughs> Firing! Ish! <laughs> Nice. Where are we aiming? Uh, below it. That one. Hit that first one with some authority. <laughs> yeah, you hit. Yeah, you wrecked that first one. Oh, just in front of it, but I think you still got it, sort of. Go team. I got five shots of five, five, six in there. Freaking bugs. Let's see if I can't hit any of those targets. Let's see if I can't remember where I was aiming. Go check out the damage. I know this one you hit pretty square. That one I think you grazed. The first one? Yeah, the first one you hit solid. I Back think. one I think you grazed. Oh, okay. Oh, um, either way, this one's showing more damage than that one. Um, is it recording still? Yeah. Oh, dope. Okay, sweet. Listen to the smell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Where did I hit it this time? Where's right here? <laughs> Look at that. Was it that one or that one? Dude. I could have nailed it twice. Because, like, yours was right here and here. This is way deeper. Like, both of these are way deeper than any of the other ones. Holy. 5.56, five, dang. Well, it's comparing to... Well, the 308 three, three is trying. The 308 is trying, but... Why don't we check out that other one? It, barely grazed it? <laughs> it has its mass. <laughs> Dang, that's insane. Mass versus speed, they equal out at some point. Yeah, you nicked it, look. Look at the very, very, very top. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, I hit it twice. Look, huh? I guess you did. That one's deep. That one's deep. Yeah, because this one's yours here. Here. Holy. Huh. Good to know. Yeah, good to know. Science. So basically, what we were trying to do is see the difference between modern military ammo and old-fashioned military ammo. This is new fashion. Oh, 
Well, do you want to run up to it now? And... No, we'll, we'll shoot it after. We're, we'll shoot well, it I'd say run up to it so we could tell the difference between the two. Okay. Did you see the sparks come off that? Yeah, I seen the sparks come <laughs> off that. That was awesome. <laughs> I got that on video. Oh, yeah, yours is fairly noticeable. <laughs> I almost bullseyed it. So that's 556. Five, Modern day stuff. It's pretty intense. It's got some wallop. Yeah. It's actually taking, like, that's taking, like, legitimate chunks out. Clobbered them. Oh, yeah, we can already see a difference. Yeah, this is where you hit it. It just hit it and it just exploded. So basically, that's the difference between and velocity and yeah, penetration and stopping power. Penetration power, stopping power. Much bigger bullet, smaller bullet. Small is fast, big is slow, but heavy and hard. <laughs> All right, let's see the grouping. I'm moving a whole lot because I'm getting eaten alive by bugs. That's actually not bad. Yeah, that's real good grouping. You like when you were actually trying, that's really good grouping. Okay, we are alive. <laughs> like this is the weirdest gun ever. I'll never get over how weird this thing is. <laughs> Loaded. <laughs> Safety's off. Okay, here, let me just take a look at the sights, because I've never really paid attention to the sights. <laughs> okay. Good? Yep. I know where to aim now. <laughs> well, that's basically it. Need to get out of here. There's way too many freaking bugs. Way too many mosquitoes out. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please consider looking, watching other ones. And uh, have yourself a good one. Thanks for leaving a like. Peace. But you didn't open them enough. Yeah. Oh, it just looks so good. I can't get over it. <laughs>